Are you feeling discouraged in this pandemic lockdown? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. John Krakauer wrote a book entitled Into Thin Air, the story of an expedition to Mount Everest during the spring of 1996, which resulted in a great loss of life. One of the most unfortunate stories was about a young man named Andy Harris, who was one of the expedition leaders. He had stayed at the peak past the deadline that the leaders themselves had set. And as he was coming down, he was in dire need of oxygen. He raised his problem to the base camp, telling them what he needed, and told them that he had come upon a cache of oxygen canisters left by some of the other climbers, but they were all empty. The problem was they were not empty, they were absolutely full, but because his brain was already so starved for oxygen and he wasn't thinking clearly, he died arguing with them that the canisters were empty when in reality they were full. The problem was that the lack of what he needed so disoriented his thinking that even though he was literally surrounded by what he needed, he never took advantage of it. In today's first reading, Elijah, one of the great prophets of Israel and a man of strong faith, is discouraged. Along with Moses, he appeared with Jesus in the Transfiguration. A physically robust man, fearless and determined to convert pagans to believe in the one true God, we suddenly find him giving up on his mission in life and heading towards the wilderness. He was disheartened by the hostility of King Ahab's wife, Jezebel, who was angered by the death of the prophets of the false god Baal that Elijah had put to death and who threatened to do the same to him. With the great opposition he experienced, he goes wandering into the wilderness, asking God to take his life. As we reflect on Elijah's story, we can draw parallelisms to ourselves. Even people of strong faith can also get discouraged, especially when constantly and successively experiencing failure and pain. This pandemic has caused economic dislocation to many. Many loved ones have died and many more have become very disconsolate after having been afflicted with COVID-19 and the fast-spreading Delta variant. We learn from Elijah in his honest and excruciating cries to the Lord. In his dark moments, he poured out his deepest, no-holds-barred feelings to God. The Lord wants us too to be ourselves when we pray. If we are angry, the Lord won't mind if we scream and wail. If we are jealous, He accepts our prayers. If we are discouraged, He listens to our moans and groans. If we entrust ourselves completely to Him, God will respond with equal absorption and intensity. He sends an angel to us just like what He did to Elijah and offered him baked scone and a jar of water. This enabled Elijah to continue his journey until he reached his destination the mountain of God. In our own bewildered state, God sends us Jesus who will also provide for us if we completely entrust ourselves to Him. We need physical food to get through daily, of course, but we need spiritual food to get through on our own journey in the wilderness of life. God gives us Jesus as the bread of life. When we walk through the valley of death, our own veritable trials and tribulations, we draw strength from our spiritual food the teachings of Jesus that Paul gives us in today's second reading. We consume the bread that brings truth and integrity, love and compassion, generosity and peacefulness that Jesus embodies. We know we have truly eaten this bread by the kind of person we have become, not having grudges against others, not losing our temper and shouting at people, not calling people names, not acting spitefully and getting revenge. We become fully nourished when we become friendly, approachable, kind, forgiving, and forbearing. Indeed, what oxygen is to the body, the bread of life is to the soul. Discouragement turns to encouragement, fear to cheer, grope to hope when we feed ourselves daily on the bread of the Word of God. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, you are the living bread. Nourish me daily so that I may be sustained in my journey towards your heavenly kingdom. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.